What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News. Top of the morning to you, and I have some new news concerning Big George Foreman, Deontay Wilder. Get this. George Foreman says that Wilder isn't the hardest-hitting heavyweight ever. He's not in the picture. Hmm. Having knocked out all bar one or all but one of his professional opponents thus far, there are few who would argue that the WBC heavyweight champion, former Deontay Wilder, is one of the hardest punchers of all time. George Foreman is another fighter who belongs in that category with his clubbing power and constant pressure, making him the most feared heavyweight on the planet in the late 1960s. Okay. And Big George has actually had his say on Wilder's famed power and believes he still needs to prove himself alongside the elite of the Blue Ribbon Division's history books. He said he's good, but he hasn't approached Joe Lewis, Joe Frazier, Mike Tyson. He hasn't approached that kind of recognition yet. No way. For me, he has to have a performance like Mike Tyson did against Trevor Burbick. I was down visiting Vegas when I saw that, and I thought this guy is a nightmare. When he gets a Tyson-type knockout of Burbick, I'll put him up, but not right now. Nah, I wouldn't want to be the person testing between those two, but Tyson could hit, man. Wilder is a good fighter, but he's not in the picture for the greatest ever. Hmm. Those are the words of George Foreman. And let me counterpunch. Um, I think the hard hitting aspect of what George Foreman was talking about, I think the article misconstrued what he was saying. I think they didn't understand stand what he was talking about. George Foreman was talking about uh, performance wise. You know, what he's saying is he wants to see Wilder with his power because he has power. You know, he didn't lack, he didn't question his power. What he's questioning is the level of opposition of though of the people he's knocking out. Okay. Robert Alenius is not good, but Anthony Joshua would be great. Okay. That would put him there because you know, you have to, you're only as good as your opposition anyway. So when you're talking about Wilder, you know, Wilder is to me is a guy that's doing exactly what Tyson Fury's doing, but just in another way. They're doing the same shit. And what they're doing is, it's not even what they're doing is what they're not doing. See, we should have got that Andy Ruiz fight, man. We should have got that type of fight. And that's a guy that got up from a left hook from Joshua, which was known for his knockout power, which was known for hitting, punching. And he got up and he took Joshua out. Okay, he hurt Joshua and dropped him three more times after that. Wilder has been in some interesting fights, but he's lost each and every time when it came to higher opposition. Unfortunately, there's only one. He has the one that he beat, which was Luis Ortiz, and we really don't know how good he really was because he was too old by the time, honestly, by the time he fought Wilder, he was already 40. Let's face it, he turned 40 in March. He fought him in March. And the other one, which he lost, which was Tyson Fury, which was officially a draw, but he lost the other two by stoppage and by knockout. And what George Foreman is saying is like, listen, you have to give us these type of oppositions to be even considered in the picture as these other guys like Mike Tyson, which was which was labeled the baddest man on the planet the first baddest man on the planet, uh, Joe Lewis, okay, Joe Frazier, because those guys have been in there with guys that showed, the in which they showed that they were at, they were at their best and they could beat the best, okay? So Wilder has yet to show us that. Luis Ortiz ain't enough. Why? Because the guy that I feel that he should have fought this year also fought him. Yeah, he fought him a lot older and a lot later. I agree. But he's still the same guy. And when you're looking at resumes, nobody gives a shit, honestly. In five or, five or six years, when all, pretty much everybody has been retired, nobody would care what and when. 
you know, probably like guys like me, but if you're looking at box rec and you're looking at these accomplishments, you're going to see the two losses from Tyson Fury and then the two wins from Luis Ortiz, but Luis Ortiz won against who? What was his best win? You know what I'm saying? So you're going to look at those and they're going to say, well, wait a minute, Andy beat him too. So why didn't he fight Andy? You know what I'm saying? So if we don't get an Andy fight or you yeah, a Joe Joyce or a Joshua or you know what I mean? We've seen Fury too many damn times. Like if we don't get something else to show Wilder's relevance, I have to agree with George Foreman. And, and that's the thing I've been telling people. And I, it, this article is not about his power because his power speaks for itself. But what's power without challenge to show or to express your power? Okay. What's your ability? You know, how good is that power? How good is your ability to uh, use that power? You know what I mean? You can knock a guy out, but at what, like, can you catch him? You got to hit him first. But then again, you got to make the damn fights first to get in there to have the opportunity. Now, I don't blame Wilder solely for the Andy Ruiz fight because there's a lot of things that weren't said to know who's at fault. I'm just saying it's sad that we didn't see that fight. And since we didn't see that fight or fights like that, look what's happening with the Joshua shit, okay? You know, I am not blaming Wilder for that at all either. However, that does not excuse and does 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 not take away the reason why George Foreman is speaking the way he is because he's tired of the bullshit just like you and me and everybody else, you know? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think, <laughs> You think about George Foreman stating that Deontay Wilder doesn't even come close in the question with the great heavyweights of yesteryear. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.